okay so as you can see my foundation is done and I will have the foundation that I used either linked in the video or in the bottom bar okay so first I want to give you a quick little intro into highlighting and contouring highlighting pretty much sounds self-explanatory it highlights it brings attention to it makes something stand out it brings something forth and then contour is the exact opposite it kind of shades it brings it back you know kind of reduces it you can use anything for highlighting from cream to powder to liquid you can use foundation you can use actual highlighting products you can use an eyeshadow for contouring you can use anything from foundation to a matte eyeshadow to anything darker than your complexion and preferably matte I'm going to start out by contouring and the contour color I'll be using is from Fashion Fair and this is actually a foundation. This is their fast finish foundation stick and the color I'll be using is Java. If you're darker than me or prefer a more dramatic contour then you can use an even darker color and that would be Teak and that is right here as you can see. That's Teak right there so if you're darker than me and you need a really dark contour that's a good one. And then this one right here is Java. That's Java right there. And I actually might go with Teak because I don't think Java is going to show as well as I want it to. This is from Benefit and it's called Browsing and it's in dark. And as you can see it has a dark powder here and a dark wax. I use the dark powder to contour sometime. You can use any cheap eyeshadow from Maybelline. So many brands have them. Also here my little Makeup Forever five color concealer palette you can use this color right here for contour and I have my sleek makeup powder pressed powder you can also use this to contour I know it doesn't look like it but it actually is a color that I can use for contour and you can also use bronzer you guys know I love the cover girl ebony bronzer but I'm gonna go ahead and use this and jump right in firstly when contouring you want to make sure not to start too low if you start too low it can make you look very bearded almost like you have a beard coming in or something like that and you're gonna always want to start with less product than you need a lot of people are probably saying oh it doesn't even look like you put anything on but it's a lot easier to build from a little to a lot than to go from a lot to a little so start off slow as you can see I have a very nice light contour very natural contour starting I'm gonna take a little bit of teak and as you can see that is a great deal darker than my skin and I'm just going to blend it out okay and you want to blend upward shaping your face in this area of my face if I contour here contour the top of my forehead and then highlight my brow and highlight my cheekbone it's insane it's insane okay you better bring your mace and um, just blend upward okay so now I'm going in with Teak again, and I'm going underneath my jaw and behind my jawline, okay? Now this is for TV appearances, this is for meet and greets with ex-boyfriends and their new girlfriends. This is for the drama, okay? And this will take pounds off your face. I'm just going to go in and blend that out. The same can be done with powder products as well. Just going to go in here and really blend that out. I'm going to do one half of my face and then show you the other so you can see a nice comparison. Okay, y'all already know I got that A-head going on. So I'm just going to come in here just like if I were to have had a tan. Now that's a lot of products so what I may end up doing is sweeping it to the other side of my head as well. This is just to start to build that shape as if you've had a tan because the sides of my foreheads always get darker in the top. That's kind of more of a bronzer type of location. And I may actually go back in and re-highlight my brow.
My face looks a lot more oily than it really is. It's just that I have my lights all up in my face right now. All right, and for my highlight, I'm going to go in with my Graftobian palette, and I will be using the color right here. And this is actually a foundation palette. I have a review on it, and we'll have that link below. The color I'm going to be using is Ginger, and I'm going to use that for my highlight, for my under eyes, down my nose, and in various places on my face. If you use a bright concealer, you can use that as your highlighter. Just taking it, and as you can see, the highlight against the contour is really, really giving a nice effect. And I'm just applying it very lightly. And now I'm going to go in and blend it all out. Since I have a little hyperpigmentation around my mouth area, I'm going to go in with my MAC palette. I will have more information, links, uh, reviews, and demos below. And go around my mouth area and do what I like to call the kitty cat highlighting. Okay, and I'm just going to bring it all around my nose and mouth. It looks like a lot more product than it is. And you're just going to bring that all around the area. I also like to bring it in my nasal labial folds because it really helps to bring a very full and youthful appearance to that area of your face. Okay? And as you can see, it just elevated that area of my face. I'm now going to go in with my beauty blending sponge and blend everything out. I will have a link below where you can find a very similar sponge to this for a very good price. And now I'm going in with a little bit of the ginger and going over my contour, my corrector color. Now I'm going in with ginger and I'm highlighting my contour. Or reverse highlighting, I believe it's called. But what this does is this just helps to really give your face that dip. Okay? Right? close to my ears and temples and in this area I like to go in with a little bit more of the darker color to really give my cheeks that super cheek cheekbone effect and if you feel you've gone in an area and you've gone too much just go in with a brush with some highlighter and rework Now I'm going to go in and set my makeup. I'm going to be using a pressed powder right here if I can open it. And this is from the NYC Smooth Skin. I'm basically just going to set all my foundation, then move on to the powder portion of my contouring. I'm just going to bounce this all over my face and I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. If you have to draw a good portion of your brows on like I do, you're also going to want to make sure to set your eyebrows. I've already done that actually before I even started this tutorial but it's just a quick tip. I'm gonna let that sit there for a few minutes then I'm gonna brush away the excess and if my face is still a little powdery I'm gonna give it one spritz with my Fix Plus spray. Okay my powder's been sitting for a few minutes now I'm just going to brush away any excess. You can also blend it in a bit. Okay, so now it's time for nasal contouring, which is optional. I'm going to be using MAC Brown Down in my Sigma P84. And I'm just going to give my nose a slight contour. And like I said, this is optional. And I like to start up near my eyebrows because I think even that alone could really, really help to slim the look of your nose out. And I'm just sweeping straight down. Straight down. Straight down. And on either side of my nose. And just straight down. Sweeping it up into my brows. So it looks very natural. And then straight down on either side. 
then go along the sides and blend out your lines. Okay, so now that I've blended out the lines on my nose, I'm kind of just showing you my face from different angles so you could see, you know, the highlighting and contouring. Well, contouring. Now I'm going to go in and highlight my nose. And I just have a very thin brush here with a concealer color a few shades lighter than my skin. And I'm just going to come down my nose and draw a straight line. Okay, and then you just can blend it out. Okay, so now it's time to go in and highlight and there are several things you can use for highlighter. Like I already mentioned, cream products, eyeshadows. Um, I have this here from Maybelline. This is the Mineral Power Bronzer. This one is in, oops, this one is in Sunlit Bronze and then I have Warm Radiance from Bare Minerals which is also a really great product. ID Bare Minerals. Um, I have cream products from NARS, Chanel. You can use whatever you have or whatever's favorite or whatever goes best with your skin type. I'm gonna use a powder since I already set my foundation and everything I've been using has been powder. And I think the one I'm going to use is Sunlit Bronze and this is Maybelline Mineral Power Bronzer Shimmer Loose Powder. I don't think these are available anymore but there are several products like them from every brand. I've got some here on the tips of my brush and I'm just going to lightly adorn my cheekbones with it. I'm going to brush it through the center of my face, my chin, brush it over my eyes, some on my fingers and apply it in my tear ducts. Makes the eyes look brighter and more wide awake. Take some on my chin. 